we have our little potato thing. It's a potato. I like potatoes. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Beckford Jack here, bringing you another mod spotlight. Today we are going to be going over the Infamy mod pack. So this is, brings a whole bunch of different mods. Uh, most of them you probably are familiar with because of my Bolt series, uh, such as Electric Expansion, Mechanism, Universal Electricity, Atomic Sciences, and also ICBM. But also this mod pack adds a lot more warfare things, such as Flans mod guns, uh, Flans mod vehicles, which adds planes and tanks and all that. Some different suits that you can have, uh, some other different mods that I am not very familiar with, but I plan to be getting very familiar with because I want to start like doing something with this mod because this is a great mod pack. Uh, it's fairly new. Uh, it has around like 600 to 700 downloads. I'm pretty sure, but I just wanted to help it out a little bit. You know, give it a little bit of. Uh, expansion and a little bit more popularity. So today uh, we're going to be going over the portal gun mod which is encased within the mod pack. So uh, if you haven't heard of portal I mean that's alright just go check it out just look it up online it's a great game portal 1 and portal 2. Uh, my, I myself have played them a couple times not too much not too much of a fan but like I really don't have time to play it anymore. So anyway we're going to be getting into this. There's a whole bunch of things to get into. But anyway, this is our portal gun. We can right click on this thing to grab it. So essentially what this mod does is you can right click and also left click to create portals. And you can walk through them. And you can see I came out of that portal and you can do so much different things with it. So yeah, to just get rid of the portals, you can just press R. So some fun things that I like to do is you can like right click up here and right click again. I mean, left click down there, and you can hop in. You had a pretty good system going, if I can figure it out. Hmm. Maybe it just has to be a little bit farther. Eh, I don't know. I'll set up a system probably near the end when I'm just gonna be messing around with it. But anyway, that's basically the whole concept of the mod. That's mainly it. So anyway, to craft the portal gun, you're going to need two obsidian, four, or no, five pieces of iron, one diamond, and also a miniature black hole, which is just some ender pearls, ender pearl dust, and nether star. And ender pearl dust is made by smelting ender pearls. So it's uh, pretty expensive to make, but it is really, really fun to just mess around with. So like one right there, one right there, hop in. We can start getting higher and higher. And maybe when I'm in one, ah, oh, failure. Almost. If I can figure this out. Come on! Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm scared! Oh, get me out of there. Oh yeah, that's just, it's really, really fun mod to just mess around with. So anyway, we're gonna get into the different things with this. So, we have a portal gun pedestal. We have our uh, potato gun. These are all subsections of the default portal gun. So we have the bacon gun, Atlas's portal gun, and Peabody's portal gun, and the potato gun. So I'll put these all into my inventory. I can show you different things and also the pedestal. So to craft the potato gun, which is one of my favorites, you're going to need the default portal gun and the potato five or potatoes or however you say it. So that's just two redstone repeaters, some more redstone, uh, redstone torches, a potato obviously, dandelion yellow and a button and jukebox is a diamond so it's slightly expensive to just get a potato. I guess. And then we have Peabody's portal gun, which is just the default portal gun with dandelion yellow. And then we have Alice's portal gun, which is the same exact recipe, except light blue dye. And then you have the bacon gun, which is just the portal gun with some raw pork chop. I guess that's bacon in this game. Minecraft bacon. And then the portal gun pedestal is uh, one piece of obsidian, three pieces of iron, and a redstone. And you could store any portal gun you want on here. So we have our little potato thing. It's a potato. I like potatoes. Plus you have that little symbol thing which stands for something, I'm not sure. So anyway, we have our default colors. Which is blue and yellow. Oh no wait, you can do some blue and yellow. And then we have the bacon one, which is pink and green. And we have the Peabody's portal gun, which is yellow and red. And then last but not least, we have Atlas's portal gun, which is light blue, 
and it seems like a dark purplish blue. So these are all the different colors, so it seems as though you can have up to four people playing. Uh, this is SMP. So essentially what you could do is you could have one person with this gun, this gun, this gun, this gun, because they don't work together. See, if I go in this one, I'll come out of this one. If I go into pink, it corresponds with the green and so on. This corresponds with the red, and the blue corresponds with the dark purplish blue. So to just get rid of all, I'll just go in them and press R. I really do like the sound effects that go along with this mod. They really just add a whole new feature of sound waves to my ears, and it's just so amazing. But yeah, that's uh, the, all the portal guns. So anyway, we'll get into the portal spawner. If you've played portal before, you know this. This is uh, basically a standard thing that is in the wall. So if I place this down right here on the wall, it'll ask me, uh, do I want portals to close when the power is cut? That basically means no. If I say I uh, cut off this torch over here, it'll just keep on staying on no matter what, If even if I cut off the torch like that. But then, if I just get a torch, I'm not a torch, it's called a lever. I'm retarded. <laughs> but then if I put the portal back and if I uh, break this, <laughs> my gold, my butter. Oh, Jesus. I need to get, it's not called butter. It's called gold. <laughs> Stupid Sky, he's tricking me. But anyway, if I put this back and I hit uh, no, wait, yeah. if I hit no, then it'll, no, if I hit yes, and then you can pick whichever one you want it to correspond with. So say I pick the default blue, and when I turn it on, it'll be the blue. But then when I turn it off, that'll turn it off. So you can switch that to uh, config how you would like. And I can get the regular portal gun out. And I can right click over here. And then we have a stationary one over here. And then we have one that we can shoot around anywhere. So that's pretty cool. And I press R to get rid of them. And I can always just turn it back on if I really wanted to. But yeah, we'll just leave that there. And then there is one more thing that I would like to go over. It is... I need to get a furnace out. Let's see. It is the single... Uh, the single something. Hold on. I think it's like the single shot uh, portal gun. It only fires one type of uh, color. So I put uh, my portal gun in here and I put a piece of coal. Essentially, it will cook and I will get the single shot one. And it works for any of these. And the single shot one, if you play Poodle, you know that uh, it won't give you both the colors. It will only give you a single color. So as you can see, this one, I only have yellow. Well, I, I, just, I can only right click on it. But then to uh, get another color, I would have to such as activate this one to be able to open it. So that's pretty good uh, for adventure maps and stuff like that. Or just custom games. But let me just... Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that's cool never even noticed that so yeah let me just get a different one because that one's all singled up so let's grab the potato gun potato guns kind of cool so those are all the subsections of the different portals and in here we have we already did that so now we can move on to the weighted storage cube and the weighted companion cube so we'll grab them out and essentially what you can do with these things is you can place them down and you can just push them around so it's really good uh, if you want like a system and then Sorry guys, uh, a little interruption there by my little sister. But anyway, we'll just keep moving on. So I was showing you that you can move these things around. So this is the uh, weighted companion one. This is made, uh, the recipe is not going to show, but I'm pretty sure you have to cook it in a furnace with a rose apparently. That's what uh, I saw from Ant Venom's video on this. You have to put a rose in the cooking spot and then you got to put a regular weighted companion cube on top, which is just four iron and four stone. And you just cook that, and apparently you get this one that's pink, and then the regular one is just like a kind of like a grayish. So this one's a little more cuter, a little bit more friendly to people. So yeah, what you can essentially do is you can push these, such as you can have pressure plates down here, and you could like activate some sort of lever system, and then we just push this over here. Come on, I gotta be strong. Ah, screw it. Get my portal gun. Drag that. Flop it. Just go in. Thank you. Oh cool, I did like a little texture while it fell. But yeah, anyway, as you could saw, I just kind of picked this thing up. If you have any portal gun out, and you press G, you can have the portal, I mean you can have the block that you want to hold in your hand, and you can just flail it around, and then to let go of it, you can either throw it and hit G, or you can throw it and click, like that. Holy crap. Go down. That'd be cool to do with like an explosive. But yeah, anyway, you could throw them around. Uh, it's not just with the weighted blocks. 
It is also with any block that you choose. You can just press G on it. You know, carry it around. Oh, throw it. Where'd, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, I have no idea where that went. But anyway, that's kind of cool. And then, let's see. What else do we have? Um, we have these weighted uh, storage cube vents and a one for the companion cube vent. Now, I could not figure out how to place these down. I don't know if it's just the mod pack or it's just the game. But essentially what you can do with these is you can place these down, have a lever next to them, and they, uh, when you activate the lever or any redstone, it will plop out one of the uh, original companion cubes, whichever one you have. So say you have one of these down and you activate it with some redstone, it will plop out one of the original companion cubes, wherever they are. Now uh, they're in my inventory. So let's say that you have one of these down, which I can't place down. So this one is the storage cube vent, so if I hit some redstone on it, it will plop out one of these things. So like say you want a level where you don't have to craft them, you could just have them activate some sort of redstone and it'll plop out one of these and then you can continue on with the level. But also what I noticed about these is when you try and break them, it takes a couple hits, even in creative mode, which is kind of strange. But yeah, that's that. And then we'll just plop these back in here. So next we have the high energy pellet launcher the higher energy pellet catcher and the electronic intelligence indicator so I have a little system set up over here so what you can essentially do for levels is you can have a redstone system set up to the high energy pellet launcher and say you activate it it will fire out a pellet which if it hits any block it will just keep on going back and forth uh, a couple times until it hits a certain number of blocks and then it'll go over like that and then you'll hear like an explosion sound so uh, essentially what you can do is you can have uh, some sort of player activate some redstone where it'll allow them to actually put the pellet in there which will activate a uh, redstone current and what this thing does the electronic intelligent indicator senses that there's redstone and it'll display a check and so then you can pass on to the next level and this can open some sort of door or whatever you really like and then you can move on so to craft the pellet launcher you need gold redstone and iron the pellet catcher, you need gold, redstone, iron, and obsidian. And then for the intelligence indicator, you need, uh, let's see, you need glass, redstone, and iron. So that's that. Really good. Uh, I, I prefer this map in like some sort of custom map, like modded custom map. That would be amazing. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have our fall boots. So we can put these on. We have our double pair of fall boots, and you need two regular long fall boots to craft the, the set and to craft the original ones you need six iron two diamonds and obsidian but what these basically do is when you're up to a really high say you have a portal like say there and there and let's just say that you're going really high and then you know, we'll go like this we'll go out of game mode one and we'll just keep on going higher see how high and then we'll go off we won't take any fall damage. And just to prove it to you, just in case you thought that wasn't high enough, I'll go even higher. But yeah, as I'm getting there, these essentially, well not essentially, this is what they do. They let you take exactly no fall damage, so if you are you need to go high uh, distances, well high heights I should say, then you don't have to worry about hurting yourself on the way down or dying. So that's cool. And we'll just keep them on. And the next thing, yeah, the next thing that we have is our sentry guns. So these are pretty dang cool. I like them a lot. So we'll just test them on some pigs, and then we also have this aerial faith plate. So this is the original sentry gun. We place that down. So we have this nice little sentry gun, and up in the top left corner, you can see with the mod, it'll tell me how much health it has. So with one health, I can just I can run over it. But then it does have a nice cool um. Uh, thing that it says it'll say like I can't blame you and stuff like that so we'll just put a pig in front of it and it'll just start it'll start tearing up the pig and it I guess the pig got away but yeah we hey don't say bye bye kill this pig kill the pig kill the dang piggy oh my god you're retarded I'm sorry but yeah that's basically what the sentry does it will not attack uh, any any entities such as yourself it will attack mobs and like pigs I guess and other cows and whatever whatnot but anyway next we have the Oracle turret 
So you just place this down. And apparently it says he's different. And he's different because if you put something down, he won't attack anything. That's really all he is. He's just different. I mean, you don't have to make fun of him because he's different. It's alright. Thanks anyway. Aw, I feel bad that I killed him. He said thanks anyway, like a little two-year-old, but like a robot. I'm so sad. No, I'll get over it. But anyway, lastly we have the defective turret, which is used by smelting a regular sentry turret. That'll give you the defective one. That's kind of burnt. So if we put that over here near some mobs. It's my turn, everyone. Watch and left. Now he'll start attempting to fire. As you can see, look, he has this little. I guess these are hey, guns. Thanks so much. So we're hey, thanks all so much. supposed to be blind, right? Not just me. All right. And he ta talks pretty funny, in my opinion. Uh, and he'll just keep on attempting to kill stuff, but he obviously That's can't because he's defective. So we'll run him over, take him out. So yeah, that's the sentry guns, essentially. So next we have the aerial faith plate. So we'll just walk over here. This thing basically is a launcher. So if I hop on here, it'll launch me. And uh, you can adjust its launch settings. So say you needed to go really high, you would adjust the vertical power all, all the way up. And this thing just a tiny bit. And we'll just grab some things. We'll grab a pig. Good luck, pig. Come on. You stupid! Oh, forgot to drop him. All right, three, two, one, lift off! Whoa! So cool. Oh, I gotta adjust this. Why didn't it adjust? Done. Is it adjusted? Just that just a little bit more. Perfect. Now we'll go grab ourselves another piggy. Come here. Come here, piggy. It's okay. Good luck. Freaking piggy! Oh, Jesus! It's like a trampoline. I need to get out of this vortex. Oh, this is this is a good way to start it off. So if you start it off and you go up really high. This is really, really interesting in my opinion. You go up really high and then you can fall into a portal. And you can jump up again. So that's just a nice fun things you could do with it. And I recommend if you're doing a custom map, make sure it requires redstone. So you need a way to activate it. And as you can see, it changed from blue to to uh, orange, see blue, and then orange. So that's that. Uh, let's see what else we have in store. That was really it. Um, let's see. Is there anything else new? Oh yeah, we just have some music. We have the radio and some different music discs. So to make the radio, you need iron ingots with the music disc valve. Valve is made by smelting this music disc, which is called Still Alive, and Still Alive is made by smelting a weighted companion cube, so there's a lot of smelting involved. And then the radio loop is made by smelting Still Alive, and then, yeah, I think that's all of them. Wait, do I have two Still Alives? Oh dear god, I need to get the other one. Let's see, I have Still Alive, and uh, I want gone, that's the one. Okay, so to get one you gone, you need two of the valves still alive. So we'll just place them down the jukebox over here. This was a triumph. So we have still alive. I'm not gonna play them all just for copyright purposes, because they are real songs. But we have that song, "Want You Gone," and then we have the radio loop. So we have all three songs, and then if you plop the radio down, it'll play the radio loop, and then you can just get rid of that. So yeah, that's basically the mod. Um, make sure to check out the description below. The mod creator will be there, and also the uh, the download link for the Infamy Modern Warfare uh, mod pack will be in there. I plan to do some more mod spotlights on all the different mods that are included in with this uh, mod pack. But yeah, anyway, that's really it. I'll just mess around with this for a couple minutes. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you're new. But anyway. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time.